Today I want to take a look at a feature of Lightroom called camera calibration that a lot of people I think don't use enough and it can really help speed up your workflow. Now, before we get into what camera calibration is, we need to talk a little bit about why it's there. So whether you know it or not as a photographer, when you're shooting in your camera, most cameras have something called picture styles or picture presets. There's a lot of different words for it, but some way to essentially set the picture settings in your camera to give your images a certain look right out of the camera. For example, most cameras have a monochrome setting or a black and white setting, which basically means when you put your camera on that setting, when you're out there shooting in the field, taking pictures, every photo you take, if you look at the screen on the back of the camera, it looks like you're shooting in black and white. Every photo is black and white. The problem with these settings is there are ones for lots of different things. And in the camera, when you're out there shooting, things look great. The landscape preset gives you more contrast and more saturation. It all looks great. Everything's beautiful. Problem is you come home, you plug your memory card into your computer and you import your pictures. If you were shooting raw, which you should be because there's really no reason to shoot JPEG these days. If you're shooting raw, as soon as those pictures import, they may appear to be black and white or have the landscape preset initially. But if you wait for the computer to build the preview of the file or Lightroom to build the preview of the file, they all turn back to the standard raw looking image out of your camera. Again, that's only if you're shooting raw. Now, this is a good thing, I think, because if you are shooting raw, you want the unaltered version of your photograph coming out of your camera. So I like that it does this. But the problem is we're losing that nice functionality that the camera provides us with, right? The camera gives that as a feature. If you want to shoot black and white in your camera, we should be able to do that. Unfortunately, it won't happen out of the camera, but we can still take those camera presets and apply them in Lightroom. And that's what the camera calibration box is all about. It's pretty awesome. So I've grabbed a few photos here and I just want to show you how easy this is. Now, these are all out of the camera. I've done a little bit to them in the basic panel um, just because they were a little bit too dark, but some very simple stuff. But I want to show you the effect that camera calibration can have. Now, very quick thing I need to start with. Camera calibration is going to affect a lot of different factors in your photograph. It can affect the saturation, it can affect the sharpness, it can affect the contrast, things like that. So if you're going to use this box, I see it always as a first step. It's the first thing you do in your workflow. If you save it till the end, if you've already dialed the contrast and the saturation to where you want it, and then you apply a camera calibration preset, it's going to give you too much contrast according to what you wanted, which is a little bit of a pain. So use this as a first step to get you started. So let's take a look. Here's a photo I have here. I'm going to take this image. I'm going to go D for develop, bring in the develop module. And the first thing I'm going to do is down here at the very bottom right hand side in the develop module, there's camera calibration. I think this is why a lot of people don't know it exists because it's at the bottom. Now, a lot of these sliders are pretty pointless. I've really never delved into the red primary, green primary, or blue primary. They do have their more advanced uses. But for us, we're actually just going to click right here where it says profile. And I can see I have a few options. Right now it's on Adobe Standard. That's what all of your images will be on by default when they come out of the camera. But I also have one called Camera Faithful, Camera Landscape, Camera Neutral, Portrait, and Standard. And those perfectly sync up with the picture styles I have on my Canon camera when I was actually shooting the photographs. So it won't do it automatically if you're shooting raw, but we can do it after the fact, which is pretty darn sweet. So this is a landscape photo. I'm going to pick camera landscape and click on that. And we can see with one click, the sky just got more saturated and things got more contrasty. From there, I would then continue with my normal workflow. I'd go up to the basic panel and cruise through everything. But we can see if I go to the wide away view here, it gave me a very nice starting place from a kind of dull, dingy image to some nice contrast, some nice saturation, a very nice starting place. So to summarize, firstly, in the camera, when you pick the black and white mode or the landscape mode or whatever it happens to be, if you're shooting raw, those settings are not going to apply, which is good. We want nice unaltered raw images out of our camera. But if you want those settings, 
do it as a first step in Lightroom. And all you gotta do is cruise into the camera calibration box, go to profile and pick which profile you're interested in. If I get out of the Y to Y box here, we can see if I use one like camera neutral, it gets very boring and flat, right? That has its own uses for other types of photography. Now, one quick thing I need to mention, these nice little presets are only there on the major camera manufacturers like Canon, Nikon, Fuji, Olympus, Sony, those guys. If you have a camera made by a lesser known company or a smaller company, Adobe may not have built in those presets for you. So if you click down there and you don't see anything, it's probably because you're not using a Canon or a Nikon camera or it's because you didn't shoot raw. Again, this is only for raw images because JPEG images get these settings applied to them straight out of the camera. So really nice technique. If you are interested in saving yourself a little bit of time, scroll down to that bottom, apply one of these presets when you first start editing your picture and it'll save you a little bit of dragging sliders up above. If you like this video, I'd really like it if you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps these videos get higher in people's search results. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button. If you have a question, leave it in the comments section down below. I'm happy to answer questions. And if you really like what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button because we're coming out with weekly videos on photography related topics.